If you want to stop looking dull and lifeless and you want to start looking colorful and bright, you've come to the right place. I'm going to teach you what you can do. So stay tuned. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who just clicked on this video and have never seen my name and my face before, my name is Naninga Koi and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to teach you how you can rock your red lipstick. Yes, you had that right, rock your red lipstick. I know most of us Africans and even North Americans and whatever, basically dark skin people rarely rock their red lipstick and the reason they don't rock their red lipstick is because, well, they have to mix it with another shade otherwise they look a bit ridiculous. So I'm basically going to, uh, to show you some tips and tricks that can enable you to rock your red lipstick without having to mix it with another shade. You know the way people normally mix like to create an ombre effect. You don't have to do that with your red lipstick. You don't have to create an ombre effect on your tank. Um, I'm uh, sure. It's not like anything about the lipstick that I'm going to teach you. I'm just going to teach you how you can apply your lipstick to the uh, in such a way that it's suitable for red lipstick. You know, like um, there are certain rules that you have to abide with otherwise you look like a clown. Or Let's just get into the video and in case you haven't seen my other videos, you can always check them out. I'm going to leave them up there. I've been doing like some weird makeup, but right now I'm just going to do some simple things, just normal things, normal human things. So the first thing you need to do is to have a strong brow game and in any makeup look you have to start to have good brows that's a fact like that's not something you compromise with like good brows are compulsory and that's what I'm doing here I'm basically defining my brows using the illegal concealer and yes for those of you who've been following me you know that this is a must for me step one but for others if you have good brows that don't need definition that, don't, that haven't been drawn in like mine you can skip this part so I'm just defining my brows and next I'm just taking this brush that I've shown you and I'm just going to like um, blend in that those, that concealer properly so that it, it creates an even surface for my makeup and uh, yes basically I'm just blending it in and I'm just taking this Revlon anti-pollution candid foundation and I'm just going to apply it all, all over my face Basically, I'm just dabbing it in. It has an applicator, and that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to take a flat topped brush and I'm going to dab in that foundation. And this takes me to rule number one when applying red lipstick make sure that your skin is an even tone, make sure that you don't have patchy skin. And by doing this, if you're using a foundation, definitely you're covering up any patches, any dark circles, any, any, um, you know pimple marks and scars pimple acne scars so that's what you have to do in order to to be able to rock red lipstick red is really a difficult color for people to rock especially africans but we can do it um, and one thing you have to do is to even out your skin tone if you have good skin that's already good for you you can even skip the foundation So this Revlon foundation is kind of sheer, that's why I've applied two layers. Yeah, it's it's not a full coverage foundation. You can see your skin peeking through, so I have applied two layers. And now this is a third layer. But I'm not using this. This one is the number 410. The other one was the number 530. Now, this one I'm using it as concealer because, yeah, I bought a sh one that was, a sh was several shades lighter and so I decided to use it as concealer. You guys are going to discover that I'm a real cheap skater. I'm not even gonna lie. If you're following me on this channel, you'll discover how cheap I am. So uh, basically, I'm taking that brush that you've seen there and I'm just dabbing in that concealer, that foundation that is acting as concealer. And I've also applied that uh, foundation also on my eyes as you can see. So I'm just going to dab it in. In those areas that I applied this is being used as a highlighter come concealer so I'm highlighting my face and I'm just taking the Sasha buttercup setting powder and this uh, setting powder specifically is a brightening setting powder so I usually apply it in the areas that I want brightened and that's just a coffee break I mean it's a must 
and I'm just taking up a, a, a powder brush and I'm just brushing away that setting powder that I've just applied uh, there was no need for setting that foundation but yeah I just wanted a brightening effect and I'm just taking the Maybelline uh, setting powder in the shade 350 caramel this Maybelline setting powder I'm just using it to even my surface out more to even the color so I'm just applying it um, dabbing it in in all those areas that you're seeing me dabbing in because this is not a translucent powder it's a powder that has color so it's gonna give me some color so I'm trying to like even out my skin more and next I'm just taking the Maybelline hyper precise eyeliner and I'm just creating a, an eye a cut wing which takes me to rule number two of red lipstick when your skin is even okay the next rule you have to abide with is the fact that you should not use eyeshadow. You should not use, okay, you can use eyeshadow but use neutral colors. I've chosen not to use eyeshadow, I've just chosen to use the eyeliner only. Um, so I did apply the, the setting powder on my eyes just to even out my eye, eyelid color. And I'm just creating a, a real cut eye, like, you know the way cuts normally look, <laughs> cheetahs and all. <laughs> watching my video thank you so much for watching it don't forget to subscribe and to like to and to like this video and also i do post content every monday and wednesday and we're gonna have so much fun together so thank you and I'm just taking this bronzer and I'm going to, to, to use it to contour my nose so basically I'm done with the eyes I did fill in that eyeliner that's all that I did you're you're supposed to keep your eyes really really simple never make your eyes um bold at the same time as your lips because this is a look that you want to walk with maybe in town you want to go to the grocery with it to the grocery store you want to go to the chemist you want to go to the hospital you want to go wherever you're going with this makeup look never ever 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 i repeat ever pair a bold lip with a bold eyeshadow don't go like for bright red eyeshadow and then do bright red lipstick no unless you're on the runway or maybe yeah you're doing it for fun like me on youtube or something of the sort but like when you're going somewhere now this is a look that you can go somewhere with this look that i'm creating so just that's the rule number two if your lips are bright do not make do bright eyeshadow do not even do eyeshadow i'd advise you not to do eyeshadow that's gonna make your look 10 times better and the next thing that i'm just doing basically as you can see is i'm just highlighting slightly very slightly and i'm just like applying the maybelline uh, master chrome highlighter on my cheeks and i'm dabbing it in with a finger just to create like mm, a natural looking effect instead of a streaky line now why i was insisting that i'm a real cheap skate now this lipstick eh, has ever defeated me before it's it's ever defeated me before and i'm going to link that video and there was no way i was going to admit that i've been defeated by this lipstick no lipstick can defeat me like after i've bought it i've spent my money i've spent my coin and then the lipstick defeats me no 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 So I did manage to do a drag queen makeup look with this uh, lipstick, however, it failed me when it came to like a day-to-day -day look, like one that I could wear. And I did do a full face of Maybelline lipstick, and not lipstick, a full face of Maybelline makeup, and that's the one that defeated me, so, yeah. This is the final look, guys, and I think it looks amazing, like... If you haven't watched my video where this uh, lipstick absolutely failed, like there's a, there's a first time I was trying on this lipstick and I'm going to link that video up, this lipstick failed, like it failed me from um, and also this, I don't know, this eyelash, you know, the eyelash glue that I'm using is actually like I think a fake uh, brand, so it's really bad, this one, this, it's a bit wonky, but uh, basically, what I was saying is that the reason that lipstick failed me in the first place, this Maybelline one, is because um, I had too much going on in my face, as I've explained in the video. Too much was going on in my face. Like, I had blush, I had bronzer, I had eyeshadow, I had bought. So, if you're doing a really bright lip, make sure that your 
your face is kind of plain. Okay, I feel like telling them to turn off the TV, but they're my family. There's nothing I can do about it. So, uh, basically, um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I'm going to see you in my next video. Um, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I post content each and every week, so we're gonna be together. And you can comment in the comment section anything you'd like to see on this channel. I'm sure to do it. Uh, let me go film my next video, which is actually my romper collection. Though I no longer wear rompers, but I have them. So, and uh, one of my people requested, Winnie, thank you so much for requesting that. That was a brilliant video idea. And um, yeah, I'm going to film it now. And I hope that you're going to also watch it. See you in my next video. Bye.